bloody scatter cushions. Hello, welcome to the Gadget Tube. Today I'll be looking at the brand new Chromecast. So what's the difference between the new Chromecast and the old one? Well basically the design has completely changed so now you have this little round puck shaped object which you can get in three colours by the way in case you wanted um, a different coloured Chromecast behind your TV. I, I don't know why either. But the main difference is this little cable that comes out of the Chromecast which basically means you can plug it into awkward TVs and it also allows the Chromecast to sit off the TV to give it a possible better Wi-Fi signal. Speaking of Wi-Fi, it has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi with 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz supported. The faster 5 GHz Wi-Fi should give you slightly quicker streaming, although this shouldn't differ too much from the original Chromecast. Also included in the box is a generous USB cable for powering the device. Of course, if you've got USB on your newfangled TVs, you can just plug it straight into there rather than using the supplied power adapter. One of the big new features for the new Chromecast and the Chromecast Audio, which also came out, is the new Spotify support. Spotify support isn't just limited to the current Chromecast, the old Chromecast will also be supported. And the previous Chromecast is also supported, like the new one, with the new app, which is a much better experience for showing you what kind of apps you can get for the Chromecast and what's available on the Play Store. The only down points I can put on the Chromecast are it is only 1080p, so for any of you lucky enough to have a new 4K TV, you won't be able to watch things in 4K, and there is no Amazon Prime video. Apart from that though, you can't really fault this little device for £30, and if you haven't got one already, it's definitely worth picking up. If you currently have one of the previous Chromecasts, I wouldn't bother unless you want a second one, uh, but it's definitely worth a buy. 